Uh, have you heard of Inanna Box? This is such a great idea. Joining us right now, the CEO of Inanna Box, Mark Preston. Mark, thanks for joining us here. Happy to be here. Excited. This, this, I remember, was a Kickstarter, right? This was a Kickstarter campaign. Which one was the kick, The original Inanna uh, Box? The original up here, although it didn't have the uh, packaging or anything like that. <laughs> just what was the idea? Um, so the idea was uh, came up with by uh, August Jamar, who is the founder. And it was just an easy plug and play Tor embedded router solution to just get on Tor immediately um, with nothing to configure or download. So you'd go through this box, it would put you on a Tor network. Yes, sir. You've gone a lot way since then, right? Yeah, you now do VPN, right? Correct. So the pro model there on the end has both the uh, the Tor and a VPN uh, solution built into it or embedded. And, and it works with Wi-Fi or Ethernet or a combination of those. Correct. Right? And you can also uplink to Wi-Fi via public settings, Starbucks, et cetera. Yeah, that's nice. In fact, I mm -hmm. recommend a solution like this. Uh, we talked about Tiny Hardware Firewall a few episodes ago because it's the safest way to go on an open Wi-Fi access point. You have a nice advantage because you can use open VPN so somebody can run their own Correct. VPN server and you get to choose which server you work with. Yeah, so we uh, recently partnered with Hide My Ass, HMA, and then um, there's numerous other but VPN you providers. Yes, yeah. you can choose from those. We have 30-day free trials um, where you can choose nice. from the different ones, exactly. And, and then also with the open VPN. Now that service, one caveat to that, the VPN enabled routers would be your tunneler and your pro there. Right. Um, and these other two on the. On Those the are just here. plug and play for Tor. Uh, this one is plug and play Tor. This one is Tor with an admin interface. That's nice. So you can yes. choose your exit point. You can exit nodes, anything you want. Yeah. Okay. These are, mm -hmm. This is a great idea. And it's it's doing well. You're doing well. It's doing good. So yeah. we, you know, we were on Kickstarter that ended up falling over to Indiegogo. Um, Kickstarter actually, said you something was wrong with the. Yeah, there's a there's a whole background there for two more shows <laughs> if we wanted yeah. to get into that. We weren't, you know what? They wouldn't let us use Kickstarter to build this studio, so we, just, <laughs> we said, "Oh, screw it, we'll just do it ourselves." But yeah, yeah. things have been going great. Um, Good. You know, we actually August worked for me, was hired prior to me even knowing what Anonobox was. And uh, we found out in January, ended up acquiring the company oh, un neat. under our main corporate title, which is Social Inc., S-O-C-H-U-L-E. Um, ended up acquiring it and then rolled it into our, uh, as one of our subsidiaries and been really addressing all the IT community's concerns, whether legitimate, illegitimate, you know, weeding out the bad and the good. And so. so you focus on security, hardware security solutions mostly? Um, we're focusing a lot on privacy and yeah. anonymity. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good. I love it. Well, I love this. You've created a uh, Indiegogo campaign to help one of my favorite people, Captain Crunch, yes, sir. write his autobiography. How'd you get Correct. that idea? Um, actually, August and uh, the captain came up with that one. So that was to raise money there on Indiegogo. Well, it looks like we're up to about... Twenty four thousand. We how many days do we have left? We have there? a month. We have a month left. I All think right. we're gonna do fine. Run on over there. <laughs> Uh, search Indiegogo for a Nana box. You'll find it pretty quickly. And uh, I love the uh, some of the perks, including this whistle, which is hysterical. <laughs> now, John Draper uh, is called Captain Crunch because he was the first to discover that the little whistle in a Captain Crunch box, if you blew on it just right, would produce a tone. This is annoying. Hold on. <laughs> of 2,600 hertz. You're actually offering as a perk a 2,600... Yes, 2600 hertz whistle plus it's got a U a 8 gigabyte USB. <laughs> yep. Now that's something John even John didn't dream about back in those <laughs> days. Wow. This is so cool. How much uh, what's the uh, what's the level for that? Um I think you can get that in the let's see here. One of the first two packages there. That's 89. Nice. That's nice. There's a picture of uh, there you Captain go. Crunch. You know what? John's on the line with us. Captain Crunch, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? I haven't talked to you in ages. I know you had some health problems. You're feeling good? Yeah, actually I am. I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, I'm still having to deal with uh, a lot of pain, and um, I've got a couple more medical procedures that I'm looking forward uh, to to help eliminate that. But I'm, I'm getting better now. It's endless, but I'm glad you're feeling better. And I am thrilled. We did a, a couple of uh, triangulations with John Draper trying to learn the story of the Crunch Man, mm -hmm. but uh, nothing like an autobiography. Would yeah, be. yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you, but as just... of late, I've been I've been like going around the world giving lectures on computer security and privacy. Good. And uh, I'm going to be uh, publishing another article in uh, Go Freak Media sometime next week for uh, 
all of the all of the secure private apps like Signal and and uh, oh, Wicker and all those. Oh, good. And I get I get really down and dirty. I, I get really really detailed about how it all works and stuff. So look forward to that. So you're still you're still very much a part of this uh, uh, security scene. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I made a resolution on the first of January now to no longer communicate with all my friends using any anything like a normal POTS, plain old telephone system, or even you know Skype or even uh, uh, even uh, uh, all the others because I'm uh, um, what, there's a bunch of really good apps out now and I, I'm moved over to them now. What messenger? Uh, me, what messengers uh, app do you recommend? Signal. Signal. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's uh, open whisper systems. It's free. It's open source, free to use, free to download, uh, and in the sources even on uh, GitHub. So it it is the by far the most recommended uh, app you can get. And unlike uh, say something like Telegram, it's and using... it was recommended by Edward Snowden. Of right, course. right. <laughs> that helps. That helps. Here's a yeah. guy who knows a little bit about what threats are out there. That's great. So have you started writing the autobiography? Oh, absolutely. I'm about maybe 60% uh, done right now. Oh, wow. Actually, I was in the middle of writing it when you called me. <laughs> so, What's that experience like for you, reliving those memories? Well, the way I do it is I listen to the music of the era oh, where all of this stuff was. Because then I hear a song in my head and I say, oh, I know what I was doing when I heard that song first come out. Wow. And that's how I remember. What a great technique. <laughs> well, like what song triggered some big memories for you? Oh, some of the stuff, uh, Flock of Eagles, oh, the Flock of Seagulls, Flock of Seagulls. Flock of Seagulls yeah. back, in, back in the mid-80s, I so think. So when you uh, hear the Jefferson Airplane, one side makes you taller and one side <laughs> makes you small, does it, does it... Yeah, it brings memories back in, in my brain of what I was doing at that day. So, so I just go through, uh, I just go through, I, uh, not iTunes, I go through, uh, um... Uh, YouTube and I, I I'll watch it. I'll, There's a little I'll flock of seagulls. I <laughs> listen to a song. I say, yeah, okay, I remember what I was doing at that day, and then, yeah, I was doing this, I was doing that. So it it, it definitely makes it a lot easier for me to remember things. I think the the perfect part of this is that if your autobiography or when your autobiography is turned into a biopic, you we already the have music. the soundtrack. Now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe bundle a CD in the back of the book. <laughs> yeah. I'm, trying to get my business partner, Matt, I'm trying to get my business partner, Matthew McIntosh, to, to take all of those old cassette tapes that I recorded back in the days of Captain Software and so put them on an MP3 so that I can watch it, so I can listen to it on my on my wow. iPhone when I'm when I'm actually working on the book. So. Oh, that's fantastic, John. Awesome. I'm, so, I'm so pleased to hear that you're doing this. And I'm really thrilled that uh, Anonobox, I almost called it Anonobox. <laughs> yeah. Remember Anonobox? Uh, Anonobox is, uh, is supporting this because I think these perks well, make it really, don't you love this blue, and I also blue whistle? Make sure, I also want to make sure that they're also, and most importantly, they're also supporting the Tor community. Yes. Because yes. when I went to Germany uh, this June, I got a chance to go to the Tor developer conference. And this was during the fiasco with, uh, with Kickstarter that they had. And it took a while for me to break the ice. I mean, I talked to Jake and I talked to all those tour developer people. And I reassured them after talking to August, I reassured them that uh, uh, a lot of the profits, a fair amount of profits will be uh, will be uh, put into the uh, tour community. And that's nice. really important. Nice, absolutely. Yeah. And there's, uh, a there's a button on there uh, for a, a perk to, to donate, I think, as well. To tour, on, on that's the tour, the tour yeah, project. Absolutely. Yeah. Those guys at tour are doing a great job and uh, Although they seemed a little bit unorganized at the developer conference, but the second and third day they had there, there was pretty good. They broke off into separate uh, uh, breakout sessions, and, and they and they uh, had a they had a quite a good discussions on what they're going to do next and all that stuff. What was the name and, of that word processor uh, that you wrote? Was it uh, electric pencil? Easy Writer. Easy Writer. You <laughs> yeah. wrote it in fourth, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Do you still can you still code in fourth? You still got fourth in there? I hardly code in fourth. In fact, I'm trying to remember who did Mac fourth back in the day. Oh yeah, Mac fourth was awesome. I I'm awesome. writing about that particular portion right now, actually, and oh, I'm fun. just racking my brain trying to figure out. I think it's Don Colburn, I think, but I don't know what company he had at that time. Do, do you guys remember that? Yeah, I know. Oh yes, it'll come back. What was to the me. name of that company? I it will know. come back to me. Yes. Yeah. Because I was a, a very happy owner of Mac fourth. That was a nice package. Uh, yeah. The only problem with it. Was that I couldn't develop standalone software because that paid right. a royalty, and the royalty right. amount he was asking for was far above and beyond what I could afford. Right. Uh, and so, so you couldn't make a standalone product. You had to actually use Mac. Had to have 
you actually had to have Mac Forth, which cost quite a bit of money, right? To actually run your programs, and it's like it's like you getting a C compiler and then paying Carnegie and Carnegie and Ritchie a royalty <laughs> for every program you 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 compile. That's not fair. I seem to remember you hand wrote the code on a piece of paper. You weren't writing it on a computer. You would write it during the day on pieces of paper, right? No, I had I had a with the, during toward the end of the day. Um, uh, Waz gave me the access to a QM printer to use, and uh, I printed it out on a QM printer, the whole the whole source code, and put it in a binder and took it back to the uh, Alameda County Work for Law program where I was at. And then, and then after eating dinner, I would go back into my room and sit down with the code in front of me, and I would sit there and point a point a pencil at the paper as if I knew what I was doing. And uh, <laughs> Well, you did. You did. Easy Writer was one of the very first word processing programs in a classic. Yeah, it was an ideal programming environment. It was really good. I had uh, off, forth. off computer time, and yeah. and it gave me gave me time to think, gave me time to work out a work out what was on the stack after each fourth call and and stuff like that. So it worked out really well, actually. That's yeah, clever. It's clever. John, it's great to talk to you. I want to thank you, Mark, for joining yeah, us. And yeah. Thanks point for everybody us. to the Indiegogo. Uh, search for if they search for a nano box. Oh, one right. more thing I want to add. Right sure, up. John. Kind of important. Mm -hmm. I would like to tell you that uh, that the, the the title of my book is called Inside the Little Blue Box. Uh, oh no, actually, I like it's Beyond it. the Little Blue Box. Beyond, beyond the Little, little, blue, little box. blue Box. And cool. there is Beyond Little Blue Box dot com website, and there's also a Beyond the Little Blue Box uh, uh, Facebook page. So you go up there and visit that and. Give me some feedback, and I'd love to okay. hear it from you. And this blue box is one of the perks, yeah. right, yeah. on yes. the uh, Indiegogo. The it, this right. is uh, one of the Inanna boxes in a uh, unique blue, shade it's of blue. Especially blue with whistle. <laughs> and, of course, the blue boxes were the early uh, phone hacking devices that you taught uh, Waz to make. And Waz right. and Jobs got their start, their first business, before this thing, Apple thing came along, yep. selling blue boxes to college kids. Back in the days when AT&T screwed up and made yeah. a serious flaw in their network and allowed, yeah. allowed signaling to be on the same uh, wire pair that you talk on. This what doesn't, this doesn't yeah. still, this doesn't still work, does it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's completely safe to sell these. <laughs> yes, it is completely safe. Uh, hey, it's so great to talk to you, John. Thank you. I'm glad you're feeling hey, better. Thanks a lot, Leo. And you should have me on again. I've got a whole lot of things that I could say I, about I think we should. Uh, Karsten, make it so. so we've, we've done two episodes. We need to do a third with Captain Crunch. Yeah, please contact me because I have memories. a lot to say about how you can protect your privacy using smartphones. I there's, love that. There's a way to do it. There is a way to keep off their radar. And uh, you should definitely consider having me on again. I got a lot to say about that. I love that. Beyondthelittlebluebox.com for yes. more information. And uh, of course, Indiegogo to help out. There's John, the young and That's handsome. That's what the book cover looks like, by the way. I love that. That's awesome. That's really that awesome. That's kind of cool. Yeah, thanks to Craig Wilson, uh, often known by Craig Ubeck. Ubik, and he is currently right now in southern Spain. Uh, I had a chance to visit him in southern Spain this summer and worked with him for about five days on the book. And there is me and Craig at a, at a cafe there. Uh, in uh, This was in southern Spain. And this is where I was working with him on the, on, on the book. Very nice. We'd walk along the beach or walk along the, in the resort, and he'd ask me questions, and I'd answer them, and then I'd record what I, what I gave back and gave him recordings and stuff, and then he, he put it into a really story. He's a great writer, although he's had no experience writing a book. I chose him only because he's lived with me for almost two decades. Well, he knows you then pretty well. He knows me yeah. very well. John, it's great to talk to you, and I'm Thanks, so yeah. glad that we are. These memories are getting saved forever because uh, this is a very important part of the early days. More of importantly, it. getting uh, some donations out there for him to help support yeah, it. Yeah, so. really glad, really glad to do that. And thank you, Mark. Yeah, thanks a lot, you guys. I really right. appreciate. it. Take care, Captain Crunch.